Hi, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Happy Friday. This is your life coach message. I hope it resonates. Spirit, please give me a clear, concise life coach, life coach message for the Virgos. Life coach message for the Virgos. Take what you need and leave the rest for others, please. Universal Bank. Everything you need to thrive on is already here, Virgo. Everything you need to thrive on is already here. What do you need? To, what do you need to uh, focus on in your life right now? What do you need in your life to help you grow, to help you thrive, to help you succeed? It's already there within you. It's already around you. Maybe somebody's making a tart cake, like a lemon tart or a peach tart or a peach peach cobbler or something. Maybe you like to bake. We have Universal Mind. You are about to receive the solution to your problem or concern. If you got a financial problem, hold on, I'm gonna say something. <laughs> if you if you got a financial problem, Virgo, start baking. Start doing whatever using that gift that God gave you. What gift did you did you have? I like to write poetry and short stories. I'm gonna incorporate some of this in my readings on the, when I change the channel, the other name, you know, um, the love letter channel. Um, what is it? I like to cook, but I'm not a caterer or anything like that. I don't, you know, do all of that kind of stuff. But what's, what is it? What gift is it that God gave you? Okay. The gift of gab. Do you like to talk? Do you like to sing? Do you like to write? Do you like to, to draw, um, decorate, um, energy healing, whatever it is that you like to do, it's time for you to put your gift. It's like you're sitting on it. Okay. You are about to receive the solution to your problem. If it's a financial problem, no matter what problem it is, you're about to be thrilled. Okay. You're about to be put at ease. We got connection. You are very connected to the, the heavenly realms. Yeah. You're being blessed and you're being urged Virgo to move forward to whatever it is that you're trying to do. Okay, I'm sorry if that if you see this glare. I see a glare here, but sometimes when I when I play it back, I don't see it. So all right. You are very connected to the heavenly realms. You're all up in the ethers, Virgo, right now. All up in the ethers. And getting downloads, getting connected, uh, messages from spirit to do something that, that's going to bring you income. Um I'm hearing you already have the favor. Now it's time for you to add the flavor, okay? Support team. You have a support team. Two minds are better than one. Three minds are better than two. And four minds are unstoppable. Unstoppable. You have a support team around you. Uh, not only, I'm going to say this. Not only do you have spirit around you to help you, you also have your fellow Virgos around to help you. And I appreciate that too. When you see a post, sometimes I see people going in and, and reading uh, the comments and putting little messages in there for that. Thank you all for supporting each other. I really appreciate that on this channel because you didn't have to do that. You don't have to do it, but you do. And I appreciate it. Just start. If you if you read a, something and that somebody posts, maybe give them a, wor them a word of encouragement or something like that, because we all need uh, extra hand every now and then. OK, like this, like this says. Two minds are better than one. Three minds are better than two. And four minds are unstoppable. We are unstoppable, right? We are unstoppable, Virgos. Intuition. You are learning to embrace and trust your inner knowing. You already know what it is that you're going that you, that you're going to do, that you want to do. You already know what gifts that you have to show the world. It's time for you to finally put those plans, uh, Virgo, into action. Hmm. And we have generosity. Giving from your heart with no strings attached is what is needed now. Being very generous, even if you go to the store and pay for somebody's coffee or something behind. I'm not saying pay 77 77 for their damn groceries. You know, if you can afford it, of course. But buy, buy a jug of milk or something. If you see somebody struggling in their pocket and they have all change, give them five dollars to pay. For whatever it is that they're paying for being generous to the to the person in front of you or the person you know behind you or if you feel feeling led to just do something nice to buy somebody lunch or buy your boss lunch or your co-worker lunch or if you're seeing somebody sitting outside of a restaurant give them a, a cup of coffee or, or you know a word of encouragement or something you know generous you can you can you can um 
usher out your generosity in so many different ways. And it doesn't have to be financially, just listening to somebody. I can't tell you all how many times people sit down and tell me their life stories. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've heard stories, stories with people who have been um, in, in situations like rape, um, I've been in uh, abuse. I've heard some situations. I've heard people being been in Holocaust victims with the numbers on their on their hands and, and so many different things. You all, you wouldn't believe some of the things I've heard. All they need is just a. You can be generous by just listening. Okay. Perception. You are getting ready to have a shift in perception that will change everything. So you're going to learn that everything you need to thrive in is already there. You thought about it. I should have done this years ago, but I didn't. Why did I take my time? Or why did I wait so long? Because it wasn't your time yet. Now your time is about to come, okay? And now it's time for you to go ahead and do what you said you've always wanted to do. Because you, that, that's your solution, to, to finally do what you said you were always gonna do. Life helped put, put it all for you because it, you weren't prepared. Now is that this is the perfect time for you to prepare yourself to move forward. To the solution to your financial problem or whatever that problem is going on in your life is just to do it because you're changing the way you think about things you're changing the way you see you're changing the kind of people you're connecting yourselves with you're thinking more highly of your you're thinking more highly of your evolved spirit your evolved intuition how much stronger that's getting and, and how you're able to rely on it more one, from following your own intuition and two, from, from watching readings that, that kind of like help take it up a peg or two for you to understand your intuitions better. Like, OK, so that is what I'm feeling. I can really relate to what that person is saying or that person is doing okay? and being very generous. OK, what you give out, you're going to get back, get back tenfold, no matter how you how generous you are or how you do for people, you're going to get that back. And I don't know why I just thought about the show hoarding hoarders. Maybe somebody, maybe you are a hoarder or hoarder, or you know somebody who is a hoarder. Maybe sometimes you can go over and, and help them see if they need any help or see why they got themselves in the situation that they're in. Hmm, I don't know why I'm hearing hoarders. You're getting ready to have a shift in your perception. It's going to change everything. Everything you thought that you could do, Virgo, you can do better. And everything you thought that you could do, but you didn't, you can do better. The journey. You are learning that every challenge you face has a hidden gift inside. Everything we just talked about is a gift because you, you, whatever you're doing for others is going to be repaid for you tenfold, repaid to you tenfold in so many different ways and so many different blessings and so many different people's, people are going to do for you, going to give to you just out of the blue. You're going to get opportunities, so many different things and you're, you're not even seeing it. This could also be more finance, finances coming your way. Because your journey is different because of the way you think is different, okay? Your journey is different because of the way you think is different. Seeker of the truth. You can feel the hidden truth behind your circumstances. The hidden truth, Virgo, behind your circumstances. You can feel the hidden truth. Because there are some, some truths that you probably don't want anybody to know about. Uh, people, you don't think that people will understand, but they will. You're seeking out your own truth, but you're finding that through your own intuition. And, and through what you've been through, your, your life's battles, what you've been through before. You've been through some stuff. Hmm. Authentic self-expression. Be true to who you are. Be true to who you really are and your life will change in the most amazing ways. If you just own up to who spirit made you to be, or I'm hearing if you just fess up to who spirit called you out to be by self-expression, be authentic with yourself. I don't sugarcoat shit. If you don't like what the fuck I say, you already know what you can do. My mother was very, very forthcoming with us. I mean, she said some stuff to us that to this day would, would shock you, you know, but definitely I speak the truth. So if, you, if you've had personal readings from me, yeah, mm, those can get down and dirty. OK, um, but definitely speak your truth. We have the void. You may be covering up the emptiness, the emptiness or pain within through an addiction. It could be a food addiction. Could be a sex addiction, could be an alcohol addiction, a drug addiction, a um, TV addiction, whatever. You could be addicted to trouble. You could be addicted to bad habits, okay? But you're covering up that darkness. You're covering up the pain. 
covering up the pressure that that of the negative cards that life has of that that life have dealt you. Put too, you put too much pressure on yourself, and you're gonna blow a gasket. But you understand that's how diamonds are made through pressure, and it comes out beautiful. Have hibernation. Your soul needs time alone for meditation and rest. Going into hermit mode, Virgo. Going into hermit mode. Somebody told me a funny joke the other day at work, y'all. <laughs> He said, what's the difference between a snowman and a snow woman? And I said, what? He said, snowballs. <laughs> I started laughing. That was so funny to me. That's the kind of guy that tells jokes all the time, and you don't always find them funny. But when he told that one, I was cracking up. Okay. I just heard another joke, but I can't remember. I can't remember what it was, so I'm going to leave that one alone. Okay. The journey. You are learning that every challenge you face has a hidden gift inside. You already know that. Your peer group. You are getting ready to unite with members of your social family. And you could be doing that here by supporting each other. Starting your own channels. Okay. If you start your own channel or if you have a channel, make sure you put that information in the, in the comment section so we can click on it and join and vice versa. And once you get there, let everybody know that, that you found him or her through through this channel so you can collectively be around each other and support each other in so many other ways, okay? Tough love. It's time to tell the truth about something you've been avoiding, Virgo. Mm. Look at the bottom. If y'all just saw the reading I put out today, stop using your childhood trauma as a motherfucking crutch, okay? Tough love. You have to practice tough love on yourself. You're currently healing all emotional wounds, inner child. That inner child is all jacked up. It's all jacked up. But you got to practice tough love and tell yourself it's time, for, it's time for you to heal. It's so, so interesting that this card came out. I hope you all have watched that reading I put out earlier. Stop using your childhood trauma as a motherfucking question. Look what we did here. But you're healing. Our spirit wants you to start healing. Complete your healing. If you got to a point to where you stopped going to uh, talk, maybe some sessions or whatever, or groups, start that back up because it's time for you to heal because you have an assignment. You have a job. Practice tough love on yourself or go and say enough is enough. I need to heal. I need to stop doing what I'm doing. That's a detriment to who I am. That's a detriment to my very soul. Okay. Spiritual gifts. You are in the process of developing and fine-tuning your spiritual gifts, Virgo. Some of you are going through a power struggle when it comes to your, uh, your spirituality as well. You may be involved in a power struggle between two or more people. Um, this could be also some of you because you all don't really trust your, your, your skills right now spiritually, but also you're probably going through some shit right now with somebody who wants to be in charge. They want to be in a boss. They want to run you, tell you what to do, tell you what they're not going to do or whatever. Okay. Better tell the person to sit the fuck down and shut up. Okay. If they don't know you, they don't know you now. By now, Virgo, show them. These are your life coaching messages, Virgos. I hope they're resonating with you. I'm gonna clarify the power struggle. You may be involved in a power struggle between two or more people. Education. Education is an important part of your soul's development and at this time. So, you know, this is somebody who you're having a problem with. Maybe they're, they're not wanting to go to their classes. They don't want it ready to go to school or maybe they skip classes or whatever. Or maybe you skip classes or maybe you dropped out of college and this is the perfect time for you to go back. You're having a power struggle in your head by, with, by you, by your own doing, because your spirit is trying to tell you to do something to complete your education. And you keep putting it off because you don't think you can do it or you think you're going to fail again. OK. Everything you need to thrive on is already there, but you got a power struggle going on, Virgo, a little bitty power struggle, an ego trip, okay? Give me a final card. I would like to go live. I'm going to talk to my moderators and see if they feel like going live tonight, at least for a minute, y'all. 
and we have hidden treasure. You have brilliant, unstoppable potential just waiting to be explored, Virgo. You are being guided to step into your role as a spiritual teacher. We got so many good things going on for you. Some of you, this hidden treasure, maybe your hidden treasure is becoming a spiritual teacher, Virgo, a spiritual leader. You have brilliant, un untapped potential just waiting to be explored. You are being guided to step into your role as a spiritual teacher. How many of you, I'm hearing stuff. I'm hearing David, I'm hearing David Koresh. I'm hearing, um, the, what, what the Guyana tragedy guy, him, Jim Jones. Some of you probably watch those shows. I know I have. It's probably why I'm hearing the message, but being a different kind of teacher, a different kind of, not to not to the extent that it's negative, it will become negative. And whatever it is that you're doing as a spiritual teacher, don't let people sway you, you know? And don't try to sway anybody else. If they want to come to you, if they want to talk to you, so be it. I will say every now and again, if you all want a reading, you know how to reach me. But if you not, if you want a reading from me, you know how to contact me. I say it, but I don't say it often because I feel if you want to get a reading from me, you, that's fine. If you don't, I'm okay with that too. I'm never, ever going to force you to get a reading from me, okay? We have awakening. You are no longer letting people dictate or run your life for you because you got a real wake-up call in 2022. Not no more. The void. You may be covering up the emptiness or pain within through addiction, Okay. Pay attention to the signs. Your angels are trying to deliver a message. If you're seeing signs, I know I keep seeing one, one, one every single day. Um, that whatever signs that you're doing, finding coins like dimes or pennies or feathers or, or whatever. Um, if say for instance you, you watch a show, a, a thirty minute sitcom, then two or three months later you watch that sitcom again, and then all of a sudden it's the same one you watched from the last time. Like wow. So maybe that was a message for you to watch that sitcom. All right, or, or that episode. But definitely, whatever it is that you're addicted to, Virgo, that you're doing, it's, it's creating a hindrance for your for your higher self. And your higher self wants you to work on filling this void with something other than something that's toxic for you. Okay. All right. Hmm. Well, something else that I need to say, but it's just not coming. Visionary. You are learning to synthesize all of your creative ideas, putting your ideas into action. Putting your oh, putting your ideas into action. I don't know. It's some. It's got to be something with that David Koresh and Jim Jones. Maybe some of you have been in a cult situation, or or maybe in something like that now, um, or getting to that point or something like that. Something that you're doing isn't healthy for you. Um, some people may think that maybe if you watch, if they know that you watch tarot, it's not good for you, but it's just something that you're, that you're doing. It's almost like a cult following. And I'm hearing that that's not good for you. It's not saying that it's not good for anybody else, but it's just not good for you. And if you're doing something that you feel like, tag, it's why so many people here are, why is, you know, it's, it's like, that's almost as if it's, it could be anything, you know? But it's like you're, something you're doing that you know that's not that's not right, and you already you already know what that is. You know you need to let it go because it just doesn't feel right for you. Okay. Final card, please, for Virgo. Metamorphosis, like the caterpillar that emerges from its cocoon. You are about to get your wings. Mm -hmm. You are about to get your wings, Virgo. So I hope this message resonates with resonates with you. I'll do these more often. And once I decide to get this up and running on a personal level, we can talk through Skype uh, or or over the phone. We'll, I'll come up with some ways like that. And that's going to be something different for you all coming in 2022. All right. Talk to you all later.